what we are seeing rising up here in Canada is that the mandates probably aren't going to come through legislation, but rather through court precedent. And here's what they're looking to do. They're looking to establish vaccines as a necessary of life. So now if you don't vaccinate, then you're failing to provide a necessary of life, which is, which is an indictable offense up to five years. They can say, you've already had a breach in your duty to provide the necessaries of life by failing to vaccinate. That is what they're looking to do. It's not what's been done yet. Ours was the first case that we're aware of that they attempted to establish that. This is the second case I know, but there may be other cases going on. There may have been already other cases that the media was silent on and that nobody picked up on this agenda. But this is what they're looking to do, is establish the vaccines as a necessary of life as if it were water or food or shelter or clothing. That's what they're looking to group vaccines in with. And that you have to vaccinate. Otherwise, you are breaching your duty as a parent or a caregiver, and you are liable for jail time. That's exactly what is happening here. This has got to get out there. This information has got to get out there in regard to what the Crown is doing as they are being pulled on their puppet strings, ultimately by the big players in the pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical industry is desperate. People are leaving in droves, and for good reason. People don't want their wares anymore. And so, because they can't voluntarily sell their wares, they're attempting to force them on all of us.